let's help you plan out your day today with that wind many of us heard overnight, Alan. Yeah, it's going to only get windier through the afternoon. Before I get to that, we've all heard of no shave November, right? But what about no snow November? That's pretty much what we've seen from the springs to Puebla. Hardly any accumulations this month at the springs. Nothing noted just yet at the Pueblo airport. That could be changing late this weekend in some areas but not for all. You can see the entire monthly average just over four inches in both spots. And let's check in on those temperatures. Overall, without the snow, it seems natural that it would be a warm month. And so far through yesterday, the 15th of November, we've averaged 63 degrees for a daytime high in the springs and almost 69 degrees in Pueblo, both more than 10 degrees above the monthly average. Today, we're going to be well above the monthly average once again. 71, my forecast in the springs, easily the warmest day of the week so far, topping out well into the upper 70s for the Steel City. And if this morning is any indication of how this afternoon will go, well, take a look at the current temperature map. You're waking up to temps in the upper 50s thanks to some gusty overnight winds in the springs in Canyon City. Much warmer than yesterday at this time in Pueblo at 49, 53 in Walsenburg and 48 the current temperature in Monument. Not necessarily seeing strong wind gust up and down the I-25 corridor. Most of the stronger gust out towards the Pikes Peak area. Also down across the Sangres. Look at the wet mountain valley. Sensor and Westcliff currently gusting around 40 miles per hour. The culprit, the reason for the wind, potent area of low pressure off the coast of California, spreading some energy into the state of Colorado today. This will translate into some higher elevation snowfall, light snow at that. Unfortunately, the moisture not expected in southeastern Colorado wind, our main weather story for the day today. Now we are in search of some moisture. We desperately need it, as I just showed you. And looking ahead to Sunday night and Monday, that's the developing system off the coast of Alaska that could be our next saving grace. Doesn't look to be a big rain or snowmaker at this point, but possibly some light wintry precip as we head towards the end of the weekend and early next week. All right, your highs today running about 15 to 20 degrees above average, warming into the 70s for the Springs, Canyon City, and Pueblo. 77 today in La Junta. Tomorrow will be about 15 degrees cooler across most areas as a cold front drops in tonight. Saturday, we recover a degree or two, and then Sunday to Monday, that's when we see that system drop in. Upper 50s Sunday, a high of 41 on Monday. Probably the best chance of snow would be into the overnight hours into Monday morning with drier skies after the lunch hour. For Pueblo, I've got dry conditions through Saturday and most of Sunday. Showers expected late Sunday with a wintry mix Monday and some strong winds as the system looks to really intensify to our east during the day on Monday. That could be a bigger story than any sort of moisture that we see from that storm. For Canyon City, a similar story here. We're warm and windy today. We're cooler on Friday and then looking ahead to the end of the weekend and early next week for the next storm to move in. For Woodland Park, I've got snow showers from Sunday night to Monday. Then as we look ahead to that busy travel day on Wednesday, it looks dry with a high of 52.